Good evening, everyone. Skytrack shows that we did have the sun come back out across the area this afternoon, but more clouds are starting to come in off a of disturbance to our southwest. We do have some precipitation over Missouri, just edging across the Mississippi River, but I'm expecting most of that precipitation to stay off to our southwest and will stay dry through the overnight hours here in central Illinois. As we look locally, you can see that cloud cover moving back in from the southwest after we saw clear skies across the area. And as you head out the door tonight, we will see more clouds building into the region as that disturbance continues to slide past. Temperatures remaining fairly steady though for us, only falling down into the mid 40s through much of the evening hours. And luckily those winds have calmed down for us this evening as well. We did have very gusty winds earlier today. Currently our strongest breeze is in Champaign at 12 miles an hour, only seven in Charleston and eight over in Decatur. We'll look at these wind gusts from earlier today, especially across our northern counties is where those gusts were strongest. Danville clocked a 41 mile an hour gust, 39 up in Champaign, 38 over in Decatur, and those were less as you went further down to the south. The winds weren't quite as strong, but temperatures made it up into the upper 50s for us today. And now we're sitting in the lower 50s to upper 40s across the area. 51 down in Robinson, 49 in Paris. Danville's our cool spot at 47 degrees, and we're currently at 53 here in Charleston. As we go into the overnight hours, we're going to continue to see those temperatures fall down into the upper 30s for your overnight low under partly cloudy skies. So it will be a chilly night. Winds will remain fairly light for us out of the west southwest at 5 to 10 miles an hour. More sunshine is expected as we start your Wednesday. We will notice some passing clouds, especially in the morning, but a lot of the day is just going to be featuring those mostly sunny skies. But temperatures will be several degrees cooler than today. So as we break down your Wednesday further, 42 at 9 a.m. up to 46 by noon. We only top out at 50 for your daytime high. And then check out at 6 p.m. after the sun sets. Temperature is going to continue to fall back down into the upper 30s as we get into Wednesday evening. More sunshine as we start your day on Thursday, but future cast shows that we will notice an increase in cloud cover as we get into the afternoon. And that's ahead of another system that's going to be working its way into the area. As we get into Thursday night, as you can see, it starts as rain across our area, but there is snow just behind this system, and the timing of the precipitation depends on your location, so we'll zoom in for a closer look on Futurecast. You can see much of the area still seeing that rainfall as we get into Thursday night. However, as we get around the midnight hour, areas west of I-57, could see that precipitation change over to snow, maybe even a brief wintry mix in this pink shade here. And as we get into the early morning hours, much of the area going to be seeing that light snowfall across the area. Again, that freezing rain potential and sleet across our eastern counties. But really, we're not expecting any impacts from this system because temperatures at the surface are still very warm, so the ground is warm. So we're not really expecting any accumulations across the area. May hold on to a few flurries or light showers as we get into the day on Friday. But what we're really noticing on the seven day is those cooler temperatures, only 41 on Friday. Saturday, the sunshine returns. Temperatures only topping out into the upper 30s for us, however. Warm up a little bit for Veterans Day, back up into the upper 40s, but then another cold front slides through as we get into Monday. So highs on Tuesday, only topping out in the lower 30s. However, it was actually a nice day today, but looking ahead to Thursday, that four letter word, it's yeah, coming. That snow's coming, but luckily no accumulations, just a few flakes in the early morning. Perfect. Thank you, Everett.